And welcome back to tonight's MLB pregame show as we ramp up to the first pitch this evening. Should be a good one. And as we prepare you for it, we present our tops player spotlight. Gerald Payton comes into this one with hits in each of his last 10 games. What do you think is contributing to his recent success, and what do you think about his chances of extending his streak in this one? Yeah, Matty, consistent hitting mechanics, a great eye, feel for the barrel right there, Matty B. I actually think it's going to continue. This guy looks so calm in the box, I don't see that he doesn't get a knock today. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Tuesday night baseball now from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight the second of four to begin the week between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny as pitching matchups go and doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well Matt these are two of the best in the business two guys that throw a lot of strikes and if their game is on we should have a very low scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. an eight game win streak they'll try to run it to nine next into the box That's Gerald her. Hayden as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish I mean we've all seen guys that do it but really they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Good pitch there down below oh, the dude. zone. Got him to go after it. A little slide step backs in there Dan. Yeah he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen but the cat mouse game continues on. And a sliding try at that one but it'll get through for a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Hey Dero are you aware of this after that knock right there that's an 11 game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11. I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know you wake up you've been sleeping easy for almost a week eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's dinner tastes different. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Go hard. Go hard. As he arrives at second without a play, as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. We didn't have to wait long for the offensive fireworks in this one. Two runners aboard, and you've got a pitch you like. Drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs, and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. And now here is Gerald Payton. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that on his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it in. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. Hayden, just 24 years of age, he was selected in the third round back in the 2021 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself. At the plate now is Gerald Hayden, runner in scoring position with two guns. From the stretch, fastball well outside. outside. Hey, 
Six runs, ten hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Hit high and deep to left field. Going back is the left fielder, still ranging back. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. So close yet so far away. Two outs but back to back hits. This one a triple and three runs have now been chased home. We'll see if the defense can make a play and get them out of this nightmare. Anthony Santander the now next back. to bat. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Swing and a looper to left. Volpe is there for it. He handles it easily and the inning is over. So three runs on four hits. No errors and a man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mariners seven and the Yankees nothing. Now to the plate, here is Jason Dominguez. Struck out in his first at bat. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game, maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at bats they put together. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Giovanni Holloway struck out in his last trip to the plate. Swing and a ground ball to third. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. So it's one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors and no one left. Five innings complete. The Mariners are on top, seven to one. Digging in will be. Gerald Hayden. Yeah, Matt, that last A.B. was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist-high to belt-high changeups. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And boy, was he ever no fooled on that right. pitch. It's 0-2 now. After that off balance swing right there you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your back visualizing hitting a home run and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven and stepping in now Gerald back. Hayden He's tripled and doubled in four trips in the ball game. Hey, hey, for yours now. Come on, Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. The 0 1 pitch. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, this guy's so aggressive, I don't think this pitch is anywhere near the zone. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Good pitch, and I think he locked him up, but he wasn't rewarded for it this time. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Not really bunched him up there, but he'll stay alive as he fights this one foul. Hey, see it up, drive the other way. Let's go, big dog. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. Another 2 2 offering. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Seattle jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Dustin May notches his third win.